This is Artifacts of Mars. I read this story and I, it's hard for me to maintain for my composure, so I'm going to be laughing all the way through this. Probably. <laughs> so here we go. Researchers have managed to turn a spinach leaf into working heart tissue and are on the way to solving the problem of recreating the tiny branching networks of blood vessels in human tissue. Until now, scientists have unsuccessfully tried to use 3D printing to recre recreate these intricate networks. Now, this breakthrough, it seems turning plants with their delicate veins into human tissue could be the key to delivering blood via a vascular system into the new tissue. <laughs> what the? Scientists have managed in the past to create small scale artificial samples of human tissue, but they've struggled to create it on a large scale, which is what would be needed to treat injury. Researchers have suggested that eventually this technique can be used to grow <laughs> can be used to grow layers of healthy heart muscle to treat patients who have suffered a heart attack. <laughs> oh my Oh my <laughs> Plants and animals, of course, have very different ways of transporting chemicals around the body. However, the networks by which they do so are quite similar. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. The authors of this study are publishing their findings in research biomaterials in May. Oh my... I mean, that's actually going to get peer-reviewed? Peer you see how uh, far science has fallen? The scientists from Worcester Polytechnic Institute wrote, The help of decellularized plants for scaffolding open... How do you decellularize? <laughs> Opens up the potential for, brand, for new branch of science that investigates the mimicry between plant and animal. In order to create an artificial heart, the scientists strip the plant cells from spinach leaves, sending fluids and microbeads similar to human blood cells through spinach vessel <laughs> vessels and then seed the human cells that are being used in blood lines to line blood vessels into it. Uh, Glenn Gaudet, professor of biomedical en engineering at Worcester Polytechnic Institute, said, We have a lot more work to do. <laughs> oh, but so far, this is very promising. Uh, adapting abundant plants that farmers have been cultivating for thousands of years. For using tissue engineering can solve a host of problems limiting the field. So there you have it. Your uh, next heart will be a spinach leaf. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost it reading this. I'm sorry, folks. I, I can't take it. This is insane. I can't take it. I'm artifacts of Mars. Oh.